Oh my God, guys, it is official. We have the house. Ooh, it's just, oh my gosh. Oh, Drew is already there. And so now I'm gonna go to his place and then we gotta pack up both our cars and we're just gonna head right over there. I'm just in my work clothes. I'm not ready yet to film the tour video and that's okay. I can do that, I think, later today. I just need to get a lot of like the little random goodies out. Oh, I know, Daisy, you get to claim all of this. Mark all the territory. Oh my God. <laughs> Empty house tour, not really. Any second now, Drew's gonna come back here. He and his friend, they came and they brought a U-Haul, so they had to go return it. Then we're gonna go to Chili's. I'm so sorry, you're hearing Daisy, she's whimpering. She doesn't like it, but for safety reasons, she kinda has to be crated right now. There's gonna be a lot of stuff in the background during this empty house tour. Honestly though, I was just so beat when we first closed on the house. My job got instantly terminated, so I was up all night and I couldn't fall asleep. I'm hoping to feel good and energized tomorrow. Maybe Maybe I'll try to make this look a little cuter for the tour. I think I know what I just found. I think we have under counter lighting. I'm not talking nice. Yeah, we do. Okay. Only these two work though? Are you kidding me? Wait. Look, <laughs> I didn't have to point and shoot. Ah, oh, there are! myself going back and forth. I don't know, I do a task, then I'm distracted by the next room, I do that task. I have shelf liners. It throws you off a little bit because everything is painted white, but as soon as I take like a damp paper towel to the walls or something, it comes back black. There's like a layer of other people's germs. Two things are slowing down the movie process. One is just how dirty everything is. You feel like you have to do your due diligence and clean. Two is we don't have a color scheme for the house. It's not terrible, but but you know, when like even the shelf liners, you can get them in fun prints and colors. And I felt like I couldn't commit to anything. Can I put you in the shelf? And you guys don't fit in a shelf. But you know what? At the end of the day, I could have had the wildest color scheme and I probably still would have gotten this exact shelf liner. It's translucent. It's like that tarpy vinyl material. And you have to be careful though when you buy these online because there are some of them that look just like this. But when you hone in, they're super textured. And to me, I feel like that makes it harder to clean. And then I got the spongy kind, which I don't know, this is the kind where it can get stuck in your vacuum hose, where you're gonna have to pull it out, shake it out. I got this kind of creamy white, because I felt like it looked a little more luxurious for the bathrooms and it would blend in better. I'm sorry, guys. I brought my tiny tripod. You're literally balancing on a box of sandwich bags. A lot of times there's like standard sizes where you can get away with just like unraveling your shelf liner and just rolling it into the shelf and then trimming it where you need to. No, I'm gonna be like cutting all of the edges here. And then on some of the cabinets, I'll open it up and it's not a rectangle. It's like a six-sided, eight-sided shape. And I can't even cut in a straight line. So I'm not looking forward to that. So like this whole process just takes so much time and I'm just trying to declutter so I can do a simple tour for you guys. Okay, like this, this came with the house. And I'm sure it's great, but honestly, at this point, this just grosses us out. So I'm just going to put this here and just continue on. Good morning, guys. It's been a couple days and I'm waking up in my house. It's like day three of waking up in my house. Things are not looking great. <laughs> I'm not unpacked at all. I'm sure I have wash rags somewhere to wash my face, but I don't know where they are. So I'm just gonna go back to my mom's. I have a toothbrush, so you know, I brush my teeth, but ooh, I am crusty. I need a hairbrush. Oh my gosh. Jeez, I still have my morning place. Even though I'm not unpacked and things are a little disheveled, it already feels like a home. I love it so much. So day two is when I had my first breakdown over the kitchen. The kitchen makes me sad. 
but yesterday I was working, not on this house, but on my mom's house. She has a two day project where we have to apply like this sealant to the floor in order for workers to lay down hardwood floor on it. I don't know, they're always something. So like I haven't even been here. And then all of a sudden in the backyard, Olivia shows up with a cake and these balloons. And it's from Olivia and Lydia. But Lydia was taking a nap because she just worked the night shift. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna show you my house. So, you know, I'm driving in her car, I take her here, and it's already decorated because Olivia had already been here. Then Lydia woke up from her nap, so then she drove over here, and then all three of us were just girl talking here. And they got us gifts, and I'll have to show you, but right now, like, I think I'm gonna head over to my mom's for morning coffee and check in, because then I'm gonna be hunkered down here to unpack. Ah, I got mosquito bites. <laughs> Itchy! Something's over here. Itchy! They're like the tiny ones, but God, they're so itchy. What is up? I'm okay. I'm inside the house. It was kind of hard to film because you know my hands were full. Oh, I think I, you know. Usually, I carry around anti-itch cream with me because I'm really cool like that in my Coolio fanny pack. So that's what I'm trying to get. What is this? Okay. What is this? Okay. Yes, anti-itch cream. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> They're tiny little bites, so I think it's the kind where if I were to not scratch at all, ignore for a long time, I think I'll be okay. I just hope no mosquitoes got in here. I gotta figure out what to do next. What do I do? What do I do with myself? Is there a little more light? There you go. Even though the outlets are wonky, we're like, I'll flip a switch and nothing will happen. Once I flip them all the right way that I want, I can enjoy all of these nice light fixtures. Daisy, don't sniff my anti-itch cream. Yeah, every room comes with the fans and the nice light fixtures. It's stainless steel appliances, which I think is nice. That goes with everything, but they did choose for the other colored metals to be silver. It's all like, I think it's brushed nickel. So mm, I'm not really a fan of the cool tones, but people mix metals, people don't care anymore. And I'm just happy. I'm going to enjoy all of these light fixtures the only other blip we have is when it comes to the living room. In the living room only, we have popcorn ceilings. Huh. I feel like usually when you want the electricity on, you're supposed to flip the switch upward, downward. Are they linked over here? Oh yeah, okay. Finally, something right. This is when we're gonna do a bulk grocery shopping run because at the moment, our fridge is beer and LaCroix and Gatorade. Oh, no, don't forget the condiments, chicken broth, and then Gatorade, oh my God, lime cucumber. It's a little bit hard to find this flavor, but mm, it is so delicious. I feel like I'm very good about being organized and staying on track but I've never been more challenged in this house. I wanna show you all of the goodies that Olivia and Lydia gifted me. Oh my God, Daisy. Excuse me, baby girl. Let's get back there. You can get on the couch. Oh my God, she literally knows you're, she's on camera right now and she wants to be up front. I know, baby girl, I love you, but we can't have your little nose, little nose and everything, yes. Okay, well, welcome to the gift haul featuring Daisy. My friends were very practical. They got me a fire extinguisher. Between you and me, I already had two of these. <laughs> so I love the gift, but I feel bad. So I guess we're gonna have three, or maybe, you know, within my friend group, we just pass along the fire extinguisher. Lydia will be next to get a house. So little does she know, this is going to be passed along in the friend group. The game, what do you mean? What do you mean, Daisy? What do you mean? And then also, Daisy got a little something, but not yet, not yet. I don't know what that is, Daisy. I'll have to show it to you later. I think it's one of those collagen bones. Spackle, spackle, spackle. This is to repair the drywalls if you have nails and all those little holes that come with it. From what you've seen though, we don't have too many holes that we're dealing with, but we're going to because I'm going to want to get things set up and then I'm gonna change my mind and then there's gonna be so many holes that I need to patch up. We also got a stud finder. This is the kind that's magnetic where you're able to trace the wall and figure out the nails that are magnetic 
that are in the studs. And as if that wasn't enough, my friends were so sweet. They got us gift cards to Home Goods and Home Depot. Absolutely did not expect this. I was just happy for them to be here to hang out with because I haven't seen them in so long. I've been so stressed working to build up for this home. Daisy is probably the happiest person with this home. She loves the inside. She loves the yard. She got so much attention yesterday from the girls. Let's go build a shoe rack. Sorry, that just sounded so corny, like infomercial. But we got this at Big Lots. And of course, I don't think this would be in our dream closet, but it was so cheap, you guys. Like, so cheap. And because it's just the wire type of like metal, I was thinking, you know what? Once we get like a polished closet going, this might be perfect for like the garage or like a guest room or something. That's probably one of the biggest dilemmas that I have is that like mainly more so with the kitchen but with a few things around here where it's like how much money am i willing to spend on temporary solutions and that's where it becomes kind of a mind game because i feel like it's so easy for people to kick the can down the road and just live very uncomfortably in their home and it bleeds into other things like it just adds so much stress or unhappiness because you didn't make your space cozy and organized for you that there, you know, in other ways it's going to affect you. So it's like, oh God, I don't want to fall into that trap. So I'm still like spending some money, but like, again, this was like $16, I swear. I'm waddling into the room here. We're going to do this in the future nursery room because we have a little more space and, um, oh, perfect. My ring lights are in here. Wait, I don't think I can do here. I don't think we have the vent going. It's so hot in this room. Back to waddling to the next one. This is not an apartment. This is not an investment house that we're flipping just to sell. This is a home. And we decided to get a home that was big enough to raise a family in where we wouldn't have to do the move all over again in five years. Like this is our home. Oh man, I think my electrolytes are off because that was just a whole lot of hoopla and then tiring myself out from <laughs> talking too much. Okay, I think this is a little bit cooler. Oh my God, what if I'm just having a womanly hot flash? But I think I would rather have that than have something be wrong with the central air system of the house. We have original windows, and when you look at the front door, you see daylight, so we have to get a weather strip. Welcome to the video where I assemble this shoe rack from Big Lots. Okay, this should be fairly easy. There's just three steps. There's one of those pictures that gives you a warning sign to not do something, and I swear it looks exactly like the same as step one. Oh good, there's no hardware because I don't know where our screws are. So I think these are right with the internal pieces. I think the shelves are all exactly the same. And they're symmetrical into the double loops. Ah, yes, I got it. Oh, you can't even see. <laughs> So if you happen to get this shoe rack, I'm telling you, it is so easy. Hoo, 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 hoo. Well, you know, since we're on a roll here and I finally found the scissors, when it comes to certain gadgets or home appliances, we honestly, I don't know, we're kind of picky about it. We either do like Target or Best Buy. And I think it's because we believe in our hearts that they'll never go out of business and we like their customer service. So we went to Target and I've never had a Mr. Coffee a coffee machine, but Drew has, he likes the brand. Honestly, we just wanted something simple like this. We don't do anything fancy. I have my creamer, I'm good. Like I don't need to have it be whipped mocha machine or anything like that. Ow, oh great, yeah, I'm bleeding. You know, I know we bought Band-Aids. I just don't know where they are. Easiest unboxing ever. Oh no. There's a scratch on the top. I don't think that came from me. Honestly, I already dislike this. My mom had a KitchenAid and she got hers for cheap, but I didn't see that when I went to Target. She had a separate water canister that she could take in and out, but I like that because even if you couldn't put it in the dishwasher, you get to clean it as much as you want. This is like all built in. And you have like this 
tiny, flimsy coffee canister. Oh no, it's just a 12 cup drink. You know what? It was $30. Crock pot by crock pot. There's so much more that I can be doing, but instead I'm unboxing these kitchen appliances that already come like set up. We got a smaller size. I mean, realistically, when you think about it, it's just going to be me and Drew and maybe my mom. This is heavy duty, like actually like really heavy. And together, it's not that bad. I can lift it. It's a lot easier to lift than my mom's. I'm losing steam, guys. But you know what? I think I finally have started to figure out the color scheme that I want. So right now our walls are agreeable gray. And then there's an accent wall here, which you probably picked up on right here, which I don't mind it. I mean, I can see where it looks kind of like what you would do for an Airbnb or an apartment. It's just, it's just, very random. I hated it at first, but now I kind of like it. But I mean, I don't love it enough that like that is my dream wall. It's not even my dream color scheme. To me, like I don't want cool tones. So I have to also be mindful when I do shades of green because you know, when green is too damp and earthy and cool, like it does kind of bring too much of a coolness to the aura of the room. So I've had a hard time though figuring out like what is my style because I think I am eclectic. And I think too, I'm like, what is my budget? I think I like a little bit of Mexican influence. And so like, I have to be reasonable here. Like I'm not in Mexico. The outside doesn't look Mexican. And I think it'd be a little weird as a white person to have like a fully decked out Mexico styled house. But I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is so beautiful. It's the color that I want to bring back. I want the couch somehow, some way. I want it so badly. I'm cleaning our very used oven and oh my God, there are leaves behind it. It makes it seem almost like they found this on the curb and they dragged it from the streets. You don't really know what day this is because I just wear the same outfit again and again, but we're still on the same day two of this outfit. We went to Aldi, got the goodies. It's, I hadn't personally been, you know, I, that was the second time I went to Aldi's, but like the first time kind of more solo because I was with Drew and I had no idea how to work the cart situation where you put the quarter in and it unlocks the cart. Then there was like a process with the checkout with the swapping the cart. I didn't really know. It was kind of stressful. I'm so glad I was with him. Aldi's actually a really great deal. It's not expensive, but again, it's just like spending so much money, like trying to get the house going. We got washer dryer hookup, which we probably can return because we have install coming, but that's just in case. We got a blade, and a little X-Acto knife, and then where is, oh yeah, caulk, which apparently can be very intimidating buying caulk because you go to Home Depot and they have like three aisles of caulk and it's all slightly different. We got this one, hopefully it is good. And a little caulk gun. I just wanna document this because Drew says that I always get these little cheese balls and then I don't eat them, which is fair because sometimes I don't eat them. But this time I'm eating them. I'm so glad. I wish, <laughs> right next to my scrub daddy right here, I wish, there was more cheese in it because there's so much oil. I might drink the oil, is that bad? This is so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Little protein snack.